90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7 was filled with drama and chaos, although several of the cast members surprisingly have very strong work ethics. Angela Deem and Michael Alessandri had one of the season's most controversial storylines, and the couple's divorce was later announced shortly after the airing of the four-part tell-all. Big Ed Brown and Liz Woods were another one of the season's most chaotic couples, who continued their problematic on-and-off-again relationship on screen. Elizabeth Libby Podhest also returned to the franchise with her husband Andre Kastravit, who continued to have difficulties getting along with her family. Jovi Dufrin and Yara Zaya were another popular 90 Day Fiancé couple who returned, and they faced several disagreements regarding where they wanted to live in the future. Kim Menzies also returned with Usman Soja boy Umar, although the couple split during the season finale shortly after getting engaged. 90 Day Fiancé fan favorites Jenny Sladen and Sumit Singh, originally from 90 Day Fiancé, the other way, had one of the more successful storylines of the season, as the couple settled into married life following their secret wedding. Finally, Bilal Haziz and Shaida Sween made their happily ever after debut shortly after getting married as well. While Happily Ever After Season 7 featured many controversial cast members, some are actually very hardworking. 590 Day Fiancé's Kim Menzies While Kim is more discreet with her business ventures than some of her fellow cast members, there is no doubt that the California native works extremely hard. Kim works as a restaurant manager at a local restaurant in her hometown of San Diego, which she does full-time. Kim is also very active on Cameo along with many of her fellow 90 Day Fiancé cast members, which she regularly promotes on her Instagram story. In addition to working a full-time job, Kim has also launched her own beauty product, as many other 90 Day Fiancé stars have done as well. Kim created her own body fragrance which she named Super Blossom, and she sells the product for $25 a bottle. Kim regularly promotes the body mist on her Instagram as well, and provides multiple different ways for people to pay for the product, including Cash App and Venmo. 490 Day Fiancé's Libby Pothes Libby is another one of the hardest working cast members from Happily Ever After Season 7, who earned a spot on the list after venturing into a new career path during the season. She had previously worked for her father Chuck Pothes's family business, who is in the real estate industry. Libby admitted that while she loved working for her dad, she was not passionate about the work, and instead wanted to explore other options. During Happily Ever After Season 7, Libby decided to pursue her passion for singing and wanted to turn it into a career. She started recording classic children's songs with her own take on them. Libby immediately dedicated a lot of time to her singing, and began practicing regularly. She even sang her own rendition of the classic song Mary Had a Little Lamb at the Tell All, and later released a special birthday song for her daughter Ellie. 390 Day Fiancé's Usman Umar While Usman received a fair amount of backlash during Happily Ever After Season 7, there is no doubt that he is still one of the most hard-working cast members of the season. Usman has been criticized on multiple occasions for only wanting to appear on the show to promote his music, and while this might be the case, the Nigerian native still continues to work extremely hard when it comes to his music. 90 Day Fiancé star Usman regularly writes new songs and goes to great lengths to make intricate music videos for them. More recently, Usman has participated in the Yahoo Boy web series, which he has also worked to promote among his fans.
Usman has devoted his whole life to his music, and it is clear that his work is always his first priority. While Usman is certainly controversial, it can't be said that he isn't hardworking. 2 90 Day Fiancé Shaida Sween 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 Cast Member Shaida is also among the most hardworking cast members of Happily Ever After Season 7, despite Big Ed calling her a gold digger at the tell-all. Shaida left her life behind in Trinidad to move to Kansas City, Missouri and start fresh with her husband Bilal. In doing so, she was forced to close her beloved yoga studio in Trinidad. Shaida has since received her green card, and is currently working on opening up another studio in the United States. Shaida has also recently begun offering yoga classes online to students with a variety of skill sets. Shaida really started to focus on her career during Happily Ever After Season 7, and immediately began asking Bilal for help to start up her business. She also became close with fellow cast member Yara Zaya during the tell-all, and noted that she respected Yara so much because she worked hard and operated two businesses, while also being a new mother. 190 Day Fiancés Yara Zaya Yara is by far one of the hardest working cast members featured on Happily Ever After Season 7, as the Ukrainian native already owns two successful businesses in the United States. Yara moved to New Orleans to marry her American husband Jovi, and was also labeled as a gold digger initially. However, Yara has worked hard to prove that she is focused on her own career goals and ambitions to make money. Yara owns an online boutique that she named after herself, which offers dozens of clothing items designed by her. She also sells items that she has worn on the show in the past, including signature outfits from previous tell-all episodes. In addition to her boutique, Yara is also the owner of her makeup line Boji by Yara, which she recently revealed. Yara worked extremely hard to launch her two businesses, which makes her the most hardworking cast member from 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7.